Okay, let's talk about the fact that stress is directional. If you pick a part, a spot on a particular part, and you start examining the stress at, at that particular spot, what you'll find out is that the stress is different depending on what direction you look. We all kind of know that. If you think about a dog bone specimen, stress is high in one direction and close to zero uh, perpendicular to that direction. Well, there's a thing called Morse circle. I'm going to show you how to draw. And Morse circle is a simple graphical way of taking stresses that you know and directions that you know and finding stresses in other directions. So we've got a very simple example here. Let's take a look at a rocket. And the rocket is uh, maybe putting a satellite in orbit or something like that. It's accelerating vertically, so there's force on one end, there's a mass on the other, so it's easy to imagine that part of the rocket is in compression in the vertical direction. Now, it's a rocket fuel tanks are typically pressurized, so it's also easy to imagine that there's a tension, uh, tensile stress in the horizontal direction. So let's figure out two things what's the maximum normal stress, and what's the maximum shear stress. And the way to do that is using Mohr's circle, that's M-O-H-R, after the name of the person who developed it. Mohr's circle is drawn on what at first seems like kind of an unusual axis. We're used to these being X and Y dimensional axes. These aren't dimensional axes now, these are stress axes. So you plot normal stress, sigma, on the horizontal axis, and shear stress, tau, on the vertical axis. So these don't have direct geometric meaning. These are, these are stress axes. All right. This is the uh, force in the x direction, stress in the x direction. So I'll call that sigma x. I'll call this sigma y. Now, because of the way I've got the problem set up, there is no tau xy. There's no uh, shear stress on this little sh uh, stress element right there. So tau xy and tau yx are both zero. Now that's not generally true, but in this case it is. So what you do is you basically plot two points here. We plot tau xy sigma x. So sigma x right here is 3,000 psi. I'm going to call that about 3,000 right there. Now, the next thing to do is look at uh, what the vertical component is. Vertical component is zero. There's no shear stress at that point, so I'm going to draw a point right there. That's off the x face of this stress element. The y face is defined by sigma y is uh, 2,000 psi compression, so that's going to be minus 2,000. And the shear stress on that face is also zero. So if that's, I'm going to kind of eyeball this here. If that's uh, 3,000 psi, I'm going to call that minus 2,000. Same thing. What's the vertical uh, position on the vertical axis? It's zero. So I'm going to put my second point right there. All right. Next thing I need to find out is what's the midpoint between the two stresses in the x direction. Well, not too surprising. You take uh, 3,000, subtract 2,000 from it, you get 1,000, take the average, that's 500. So right about there, that's 500 PSI. And that we're going to call that sigma bar, the average uh, normal stress. And I'm going to put a vertical line right there. Now what I've done, more circle de de depends on you knowing basically three things. You need to know two endpoints, and from that you're going to get a center point and a radius. So here's my center point. Mohr circle always lies on the tau equals zero axis. If you're, if you're drawing Mohr circle and it's not centered on the x-axis, if it's above or uh, the center of it is above or below the axis, something's wrong, so stop. So we've got it right there. And the other thing we need to know is the radius. Well, the radius is from the center uh, of the circle to one of the two ends. And uh, so my radius, I'll draw it right there, and that'll be 2,500 psi. All right. Now I've got location of the center and the radius. That's everything there is to know about a circle. Once you know the radius and where the center lies, you can construct the circle. So I'm going to just uh, sketch this in here. Let's see how, how close I can come to a quarter circle. All right, right there. 
minus tau equals 2500 psi, because all I did was rotate the radius vertical. So the maximum shear stress is 2500 psi. But we know there's no shear stress in this, in this orientation. I would actually have to rotate the stress element by some angle to find out what the maximum or the direction of the maximum shear stress is. Because of the way Mohr's circle is constructed, this angle here is called 2 phi. It's twice the angle that you'd see geometrically. Since 2 phi is 90 degrees on my uh, tau sigma plot, then phi equals 45 degrees. That means if I took this stress element and rotated it 45 degrees, the x face would be pointed in the direction of maximum shear stress.